Hi there, my beautiful world. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this abundant spread. It's a very special hexagram spread. And before I begin, I want you to just start breathing. So I'm also going to give you, uh, if, if there's enough time, I'll be able to, you know, dissect all the 12 signs. But this is a general spread for every single person uh, tuning in. You will be able to uh, get something answered today during uh, Ganesh Chaturthi. Because this is a very special hexagram spread and I will tell you uh, the, the how I'm going to read it so you will be able to understand and relate it to your particular issue. So there's, there's six cards, okay? So the first set of cards will speak about the apparent conscious issue and you will be given a deity to work with. The second cards will speak about the point of tension. Okay, the third card will speak about a way to resolution. The fourth card will speak about the unresolved or unconscious inner determinant. Okay, now the sixth card, the fifth card will uh, speak about the pivot of change, how things will change. And the sixth card will speak about uh, the key to harmony. How do you harmonize the whole situation? Okay, so for the first set of cards, we've got uh, Hanuman as the deity. We've got the two of swords, which is extreme duality and polarization. And we've got the temperance. I'll pick some oracles as clarifiers for each of this. This is an abundant spread, so you get to uh, manifest abundance with the spread. You get to realize how to work your way. It's a very energized message from spirit, so I hope you receive and you uh, basically assimilate what is for you. So let's get started. This is, I, I'm going to just draw out the first card, which is Hanuman. Now, Hanuman is also known as the monkey god. And the blessings of Hanuman is capacity to persevere. Physical strength, fighting ability, superhuman power to accomplish acts of service, ability to increase one's attitude of love in performing selfless service. So this is like literally a very forceful card, uh, a deity, energetic um, vibe to work with Hanuman. There's a lot of sim symbolism to Hanuman, which if you, you know, care to del delve deep, you will discover. So to understand your apparent issues, you need to invoke Hanuman and you need to ask him that, okay, this is my problem, Hanuman, and his day is Tuesday, okay? So he, this is also a connection to Mars or Mangal, okay? So you are essentially asking Hanuman to guide you in your apparent issue, remember your apparent issue is, uh, it, for many of you it is financial right now and Ganesh it decides finance. So, you know, that's going to be a very key component in the whole thing. So we've got Hanuman who is the deity to basically resolve the issue at hand. Now, the next card is the Two of Swords, which is, again, speaking of polarity or duality. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, you do not have all the answers. You may have to make a decision very soon. You may have to decide left or right. But you do not have the necessary information to make uh, an educated decision. So that is in a sense driving you crazy because your apparent issue, whatever it is, if it's about a relationship, if it's financial, it's driving you 
crazy it looks like there is just no way to resolve this now uh the message from spirit is definitely temperance because patience with your issue it's it's not all lost it's not as bad as you think it is there is a possibility for you to create alchemy because temperance is literally about creating alchemy magic making magic getting archangel help getting uh, help from uh, our spirit guides to to move on okay now uh the second set of cards you'll get them and the second set of cards the deity to work with is Sheshanaga. Sheshanaga is the king of serpents and its immediate serpent in the Abrahamic religions is considered uh, you know evil but in the eastern traditions the serpent is the kundalini shakti uh the, the sheshanaga is the the time the force of time so there's a saturnian and today is saturn's day so blessings of sheshanaga and this is your second bunch of cards which speaks of the point of tension so i immediately i get to see that patience is something that you need to deal with this this is what is causing your tension you've got to be humble about how you serve how you uh, co-create in the script of existence on this particular issue that that you're facing i mean are you are you humble enough are you accepting your part with with humility uh do you have the strength to face what's coming both physical and mental and and can you adjust to various circumstances because i feel like that is the need of the hour, the the importance of adjusting to what's coming whatever it is that is uh troubling you that's bothering you that's that's creating all of this tension now we've got a major arcana card which is judgment from the rider waite smith deck judgment is about that final atonement about resurrection definitely a rebirth of sorts but um, believe me when the judgment card pops up it's like it's like ultimately uh a sort of reckoning okay even though i do not subscribe to the abrahamic eschatological understanding of um you know judgment day and god will judge and that you'll be sent to heaven or hell forever for eternity i don't subscribe to that so uh that's completely you know not something i do so having said that to me judgment is about uh new directions renewal transformation uh, sometimes even following a call like like the the trumpet of gabriel archangel gabriel that awakens you to to greater uh to the greater cause okay decision making if necessary okay it could be about you discovering your mission in life which is a point of tension which is you know not something that is going well with your family or well with creating abundance maybe at this particular stage but things will get better so message from spirit is have faith okay faith in yourself faith in the situations have faith now uh this is a third set of cards for you third set of cards very very interesting a bunch of cards that i have and what do they speak about so i said the first is the apparent issue right the second uh, is the the point the 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 tension okay the point of tension now the third is the way to resolution how you will resolve all of this conflict uh, that is taking place how will you will resolve it for that the deity is bhadrakali bhadrakali is a deity you need to invoke for resolution okay bhadrakali is like hecate and uh, i believe that saturn is feminine because you know in the dasa mahavidya the deities the, the devis are associated with the planet so uh, kali is associated with saturn bhadrakali is associated with saturn 
ಭದ್ರಕಾಲಿಕಪಾಲಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಶಿವ ಶ್ರಮಾಧಾತ್ರಿ ಸ್ವಹ ಸ್ವಧ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಕಾಳಿ ಕಾಳಿ ಮಹಾಕಾಳಿ ಕಾಳಿಕೆ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಶ ಸರ್ವಾನಂದಕರೆ ದೇವಿ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಎವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಇನ್ವೋಕ್ ದ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭದ್ರಕಾಳಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಲಿ ಪಾವರ್ ಅರ್ತ್ಲಿ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಿಯರ್ಲೆಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ access to feminine powers and virtues so this is going to be how you change how you uh, you know change the whole situation around working hard working under the person that maybe you've dreamt of working under and uh, you know you're ready to uh, now concentrate uh, gather all your resources and uh, you know just work 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 that that okay i see that a lot with people uh, a motivation because corona has really you know uh destroyed the structure so badly i've been talking about it i predicted this is going to happen 2020 just how uh well you know pluto does deal with viruses i've made tons of videos on that so check that out but yeah i mean the key to resolution something needs to die something needs to change and you're just not allowing that to happen you're not allowing that change so you know that is is very important the fifth set of cards is speaking of the pivot of change resolution we spoke about the key to resolution change the pivot of change what will change you know and how do you ad- adjust to the change for that i think you will need to invoke the powers of parvati on ganesh chaturthi picking this card is very auspicious also ganpati actually because you know the, i mean hanuman actually because he is very closely associated with ganpati now parvati is the mother of uh, ganesh she is shakti she is durga she is kali and again uh, you know today is the sun moving into virgo the end of leo season so interestingly this is our fourth set of cards that will speak about um, the unresolved or unconscious inner determinant this is the card of your inner determinant sorry not the pivot of ch- uh, change that is card number 5th this is your unconscious so there is inner healing inner child connecting to the the initiatory cosmic force if you want to know more about ganpati visit my blog post where i explain to you who is ganesha so you you know understand and this is parvati parvati's blessings defeat of enemies victory over obstacles again that uh vakratandaya hum i mean ganpati and destructor of obstacles strength in asceticism okay so you know having the the uh, mind set to be an ascetic is you know is when you invoke the kundalini shakti that is parvati a uh, union with a spiritually powerful life partner because parvati and shiva the ultimate couple the hieros gamas so this is really powerful uh, for this to be the un- the deity that will resolve the unconscious uh, debris it, this tells me that there is really not much you can do with this maybe change the the way you look at things you know you need to understand how to use the suspension time because you can use this as odin used it suspended on the tree of life and he discovered the 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 magic of the runes and you know he he understood uh magic and alchemy so you know how are you going to use this and a lot of information is going to come up maybe about inner child healing from the unconscious domain integration of polarities gemini or a gemini person literally could could you know have the answers uh this being the unconscious determinant i definitely feel strongly that this is about integrating polarities within okay now we've got the f- fifth cards pivot of change pivot of change we've got a uh, gopal 
is the deity who will help you with this change and Gopal is baby Krishna he's got a very uh, a mischievous vibe to him and his blessings contain perfection of parental love so I think a lot of this could be you know healing the, the parent-child dynamics for a lot of you or healing you know how you've been treated maybe growing up and uh, how you want to treat your kids and the whole change that that comes through uh protection of one's children fertility and well-being of newborns devotion to krishna and those closest to him gopala okay so uh this is the pivot of change new ideas new creative ideas maybe a text message maybe you know uh, approaching someone for that meeting being open being forthright being direct just just you know this is very aries energy very aries energy so it's just speaking your mind initiating whatever is needed because that is the key to resolution Ultimately, whenever the devil card pops up, it is always a call to mastery. Okay, it could also mean that the pivot of change will only come when you decide to give up some slavish uh, addictions, and you know, it just just it's it's not something you need to worry about. It's mastery. So addictions also lead to mastery. But what are you addicted with? Are you is is that something healthy or not? Now the ultimate sixth card of the spread and that speaks about the key to harmony and the lady for that is Ganesh himself so this is Ganpati on Ganesh Chaturthi who appeared to me as the key to resolution I mean I I don't know what to say it's, it's beautiful it is uh, about the blessings of Ganpati gives you all your, makes all your obstacles go, removes all the obstacles, gives you peace and prosperity, physical and mental power, success in initiating new ventures. So I said initiation, initiating new things. And the, and, and the emperor card, and of course we had the moon card, sorry, I missed it. So to tuning in to your intuition is the key to harmony, understanding the the path of the mother. You know, the, the moon card is always womb, womb, healing, a connection to the mother, a child, understanding domesticity and the primeval nature of the human consciousness. You know, uh, this is cancer, the, the, the card of cancer. So... Uh, you know where is where is your spiritual journey taking you are things being hidden from you and and then finally getting the emperor it tells me that ultimately we get to perfect this this round this this uh, issue that you have come to me with that you seek resolution for ultimately you are going to be able to master that uh, that conflict whatever it is relationship finances and before anything if you can look that side at the while i was cutting the cards the 10 of cups just fell out which i've kept over there right next to the owl it's so behind the owl so that is uh the the foundation card for this reading from spirit and um that sort of tells me that it's about a uh, complete fulfillment emotionally. Whatever this issue that is bothering you, you will find resolution. And you will find it soon. It's, it's, do not fret about it. Another thing is, as I speak, the moon is in 19 degrees of Libra. And I've, I've just really connected very closely to the moon and, and moon magic and the lunar cycle. So, you know, I will be talking a lot about the moon now and the symbology of the moon and the manzils of the moon. So the Sabian symbol for uh, 19 Libra is a gang of rubbers in hiding. So emotionally, there could be some shock today that could really propel us to towards movement i see initiating some huge cosmic change today uh this is happening in the 16th manzil of the moon a zubin which spans from 12 to about 25 of libra 
and this this muncil of the moon can be quite destructive when it comes to uh you know putting a spell on someone you you know love or you know this is a pico trick so i'm just gonna get to the manzil of the moon and i will tell you working with the pico tricks has been tremendous understanding how to make images elect getting better with my electional astrology i mean that's just something i've never really done so that is uh, you know that's really opened up hellenistic astrology and just so much so much and then i see the similarity between the vedic and the hellenistic system it's it's pretty interesting so uh yes let me find that particular manzal so i can read to you a little bit about uh, this particular manzal it's the 16th manzal if you look closely here you will see the 16th manzal is azubin it okay okay in this mansion make images for the destruction of merchandise harvest and plants and to put discord between friends and between man and wife and the debauching of a woman you desire so see a debauching of a woman you desire sick and for impeding those who journey that at the end of their road is never reached so a lot of baneful magic and to cause hatred between friends and liberate captives from incarceration so that is the the 16th ma mansion azubin so yes there's a lot of destructive properties to this mansa but there is a lot of goodness to it as we saw that you know that that debauching of a woman you desire is and that's vashikaran shakti when you want to possess someone you use vashikaran shakti so uh, i'm going to end with the ganpati uh chanting today is also saturn's day so please don't forget to invoke to saturn i would like you to just uh stare at uh the spread because i want to just quickly also teach you how to uh write a petition paper i mean i don't know i didn't plan that i just thought about that right now and uh, i was thinking to myself that okay maybe in another video i just have to get get all of that together so okay speak soon i'll show you how to do a quick uh spell to get more money